we had a big snowstorm and they were not out there, what would happen? All right, die union workers are prepared to strike if it comes to that. The Teamsters have been without a contract for nine months now, and this week they voted on a strike. Elizabeth Matthews is live in Ottawa at the District 3 headquarters. Elizabeth? Yeah, guys, imagine an entire state with no plow truck drivers, no pothole repair teams. That may happen if negotiations continue to go south. The Teamsters voted in favor of a strike authorization this week. Spring will be here soon, but with it comes orange cone and barrier season. But when it does start to warm up, will IDOT be working or will they be here on the picket line? We're, we've got some things to do yet and hopefully they'll come to their senses and uh, offer us a fair contract. IDOT union workers are one step closer to a strike after they say nine months of negotiations with the governor's office have gone nowhere. Randy Freeman with the Teamsters Local 916. They're expecting our new employees to start out at $32,000 a year. Yeah, with a two-year degree. And uh, we're fighting very hard to get those wages up to a living wage. As our governor has said, is around fifty-four to 60000 a year. They've been without a contract since last summer, about the time Governor Pritzker announced a $41 million six-year infrastructure investment. Every region of our state is getting a much-needed upgrade, and there's much more to come. We have the biggest program ever in the history of the state of Illinois, and we have half staff. We're losing a lot of our people to consultants that are paying them 20 to 30 percent more than what we're making. We're doing the same job. Yes. They're side by side with us making more money and we have to train them. The governor's office releasing a statement reading in part, quote, contract negotiations with the Teamsters are ongoing and the governor is committed to ensuring a fair agreement for everyone involved, like those that have already been reached with other unions. The union also wants to keep their health insurance that they negotiated eight years ago. They say the governor's office uh, wants them to go with the state health insurance, but they say that would greatly increase their premiums. They go back to mediation tomorrow. Reporting live from Audible, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago.